Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your local development environment so that you can run your Python code, which interacts with AWS services from your local desktop itself. So after this setup, you will be able to run this Python code, which interacts with AWS services from your local desktop itself. Sounds cool, right? So let's see how to set up this. There are only two steps involved. So only the, the only prerequisite in our machine is we need to have our AWS CLI installed and we also need to configure an IAM user. So let's see in detail how to um, execute each of these steps. So to do the first step, I'm uh, in my PyCharm. So you can use um, any ID of your choice. So I'm going to install AWS CLI in my uh, environment. Okay, so let's install that. To install AWS CLI, you just have to issue this command, just pip install AWS CLI and hit enter. And let's wait for the CLI to get installed. It's downloading and okay, now my AWS CLI is installed. So now let's go to the second step. So in the second step, you will have to create an IAM user which will be configured in your local desktop. Okay, so let's go to the IAM console. Okay, here in the IAM console, click on users and you need to uh, create a new user here. Okay, click on add users. So let's call this um, user has in you know, a local uh, desktop user something like I mean you can give any name to the user and there are two permissions basically whether you want to give the user only programmatic access so when you give only programmatic access this user will be able to only issue uh, CLI commands and you know um, API calls using Boto3 and if you give a console access you will also be able to uh, use AWS console as well so I'm going to give just programmatic access click next permissions and you need to uh, add this user to any of the groups if you want like i mean you can add this user to the existing groups or you can create a group okay let's create a new group here and call this group as um, developers and this is the level of access that you can give to this user so basically whatever permissions you want that users to i mean the users in this group to have you can add us so i'm just going to give administrator access but you can, you know, give a better, you know, fine grained access uh, so that you make sure you give only access which is required. Okay. Uh, always, I mean, avoid giving administrator access. And let's click on create group here. So it's done and click on next. Done. Click on next and click on create user. Okay, so once the user is created, you get two important things here, which is access key ID and secret access key. Make sure that you make a note of it. And now let's go back to the PyCharm. So now in the PyCharm, since you have already created the IAM user, you need to configure the same in your local desktop as well. Let's see how to do that. Okay, so you just need to give the command AWS configure here and click enter. So it will ask you for the you know secret access key and the secret access ID. So it is asking you for an access key ID. So the access key ID is nothing but this one. So just take this and paste it over here and click enter. And it's also asking for the secret access key. So let's go here and we'll copy this thing and we'll paste it over here. Okay, and click enter. And default region name, um, you can give it as I'm going to give it as US East one because that's the region I mostly use. And default output format, you can just leave it as it is. If you want, you can give JSON as well. So now the IAM user is configured in our local. So whatever permissions you have given to this user, that permissions will be available here in this. So since you have given the administrator access to this user. So, I mean, the user will be able to do anything. So, if you just want this user to have access to just S3, you can also uh, give those permissions accordingly while you create the user. So, since this I, uh, no, I am user is set up, so let's write some code to see if it is actually working. Okay, for that, I already have some code in my um, Lambda. So, I'm going to run this same code from my local. So, I'm just going to take this and paste it here. And I'm going to call 
import go to 3 so what i am doing here is i am just like uh, trying to read a json file which is present in this bucket in my aws account so if you want i can show you that file as well so this is the json file that we are trying to um, read using a python code let's see how the data looks okay so this is the uh, file that we are going to read from our local so let's have so what we are doing is we are importing the boto3 module and then we are creating an s3 resource and uh, we are loading the uh, json data into this file object and then we are just uh, decoding that uh, into this contents and then once we have that like uh, we're just doing uh, json.loads into this json data and then you're printing the data it's very simple code i just want to show you i mean that we will be able to access this uh, from our local uh, access the s3 bucket from our local itself so um let's try running this code okay it says no uh, module name go to three so let's just install the go to three here pip install go to three and hit enter so now my go to three module is installed as well so now let's try running this code oh oops, my bad i have to import json as well okay let's run this now so if you see here it printed that uh, data which it read from the s3 bucket so if you see here um this is the data that we have in this file in the s3 bucket name age and salary and i was able to read the data which is present in my s3 bucket from my local machine desktop itself so basically this setup is very useful if you want to like i mean um, do some debugging on the code or you want to uh, you know do some something i mean interact with aws services using python uh, from your local environment itself so you can do the setup on your local machine itself but make sure that when you create the user you give only the permissions which are required uh, for that particular user okay so that's it for this video and thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel